I had a fun experience today that kind of brought up an interesting point that we might keep in mind. I tried to uh, draw a bigger life lesson from it. <clears throat> today I was traveling between Tucson and Phoenix, Arizona. And on the freeway, uh, I'm traveling along and uh, in the number two lane, the right-hand lane, it was two lanes each direction. So the right-hand lane in my direction, number two lane, is an oversized load uh, on a semi with a, a vehicle behind it, uh, the oversized load pilot car. And uh, it's pretty darn wide, so it's not easy to get past, but it was there, needed to get somewhere, and it was good to see that People are making things happen and moving things around the country. And to the left of it, just behind in the number one lane, was a big semi, uh, unrelated, that was traveling along at exactly the same speed as the vehicle on the right, as the semi that was blocking. So between the two of them, <clears throat> they were essentially blocking traffic. And you can kind of look around and see that for a mile ahead, there was nothing because this semi on the left, this this idiot was, or maybe he was be doing it purposefully. I can't imagine that he would just be having a bad day and trying to screw up everybody else's uh, travel. But anyway, he's blocking the, the left lane and people are going around him on the right, squeezing between. It didn't look safe, but they're doing it because they're you know kind of trying to make a point to the guy. Hey, move over, you know, crapper, get off the pod, either pass this other vehicle or if you can't, pull behind it and let the rest of us go on about our day. And so here I am thinking, hey, I'm the good guy. I'm going to give people a chance. It's kind of hard to get around, squeeze between the vehicle on the right and the vehicle on the left. So I do the dangerous move and go around, pass on the right, pull in front of them, uh, the, the semi that's on the left, and I slow down. So that creates a gap that other cars can get around. And I'm thinking, what a great guy. I'm a hero. Like who goes out in a little SUV and just says, you know what? I'm taking control of the situation. I'm going to help people out. There's a jerk or a, a high on, I don't know, meth, Zima, heroin. I don't know. But obviously this trucker is, is not like 99% of truckers who are great drivers. This person obviously has a problem. <clears throat> so I slow it down and I'm feeling pretty heroic. I'm, I'm like, hey, I, I'm fixing the the traffic on Interstate 10. You're welcome, world. I'm a good guy. Well, here comes a car around the right, the first one to take advantage of this unique, wonderful circumstance that I purposefully created. The first car to come around, the guy rolls his window down and flipping the bird at me, just angry as can be. And he travels on and the next car that comes around, they go ahead and roll their window down, flip me off. Of course, the real anger should have been directed at the trucker. I was the good guy that went ahead and actually made it possible for them to finally pass. But they didn't know that. And I guess kind of the point of this video is that perspectives are very interesting. There are some things that we see that we're, we're angry about, and whether it's road rage or whatever it is, we see something, we go, wow, that's really wrong. And I'm angry at that person. And then we, maybe we make a fool out of ourselves by disliking the wrong person. And uh, maybe we don't, but this is a good lesson to me because I know that many times I have had the wrong person that I've thought was the bad guy. And it turns out, in fact, they weren't. And so today I was the, I was evidently the jerk that needed to be flipped off, even though I was the guy purposefully doing something to, to help everyone else out. So isn't that interesting? Can, I bet you can think of examples in your life, not just driving, but generally in life where you go out of your way to do the right thing and help people out. It puts you in a position that you look like you're the jerk. <laughs> yeah, just funny experiences. Hope y'all are having a great day. Feel free to share below if you've had a similar experience uh, or the same lesson, the same moral of the story, same story of the Mori. And uh, yeah, share it below if you like.